Hey everyone, Ravi here from Lama Index. In this video, I'll be giving a walkthrough of uh, Research Paper Report Generating Agent. Uh, to give a brief context, report generation is one of the frequent use cases among our enterprise customers. So we have been releasing some uh, uh, use cases in the form of notebooks uh, to showcase these uh, capabilities using Llama Cloud and Llama Parse. So in this uh, uh, notebook, I'll give a walkthrough of how you can develop a research paper uh, report generating agent. So uh, the uh, context of this use case is uh, uh, coming from uh, our AA papers, research papers itself. So we have been seeing a lot of AI research papers on a daily basis, right? On archive, a lot of papers on Twitter or any other social media, you keep seeing them, right? But uh, we keep struggling uh, to keep up with these papers. So why not uh, have a report generating agent in the form of uh, summarizing the papers that you want, right? It would be an interesting use case. So here is a proposed workflow for the same. So we have an archive API to build our daily papers. And then uh, we can generate metadata such as uh, published date or updated uh, author's names, research lab uh, from which it came. And then you can index the data on the Llama Cloud, which is an, our enterprise platform, which uses Llama Pass to parse data and chunk and uh, everything happens on the fly. And now that we have the uh, large pool of papers and you can create index, you can repeat this process uh, uh, daily, right? And then once um, you have all this set up, so you can get a, you can create an outline for the report you want uh, that I'll showcase uh, in a few minutes and develop a report in generating agent. So based on this outline and the uh, few selection of papers from the uh, topics you decided, uh, you can generate a paper a report uh, uh, for the papers uh, you have selected uh, accordingly. Okay, so uh, so here is the pipeline. So here is the outline that I've been talking about. Probably I will zoom a bit. So uh, you download the archive papers on a daily basis. I use Llama Parse to uh, parse the documents, uh, extract the metadata, and then uh, index on uh, Llama Cloud, right? And then this is the outline of the report that you want. So uh, probably the report is about research paper report on RAG and agents. Uh, have some introduction and then uh, have some uh, the second uh, section is rag and agents briefly talk about rag and agents and what are its current state and applications and then uh, the latest papers like uh, I have selected just three papers here you can have uh, as many papers you want uh, uh, from uh, a specific day and then create a conclusion uh, based on whatever we have created right so if you see here uh, you need to basically uh, fill certain parts of this uh, report right you need to have introduction you need to have some text under rag and agents some text under uh, fundamentals of rag and agents current section and applications and then uh, uh, give a summary of uh, paper one paper two and paper three right so uh, you need to basically create some sort of questions uh, for each of these to fill each of these sections and subsections right so that's where uh, you have query generation to fill in the report so you get this outline, parse the outline and uh, create these queries. So once you have these queries, you basically uh, get uh, uh, post these queries to the index created and get answers and um, create a final report. So finally, now uh, this is a format you'll have. So here, as I said, like introduction has something and then rag and agents, uh, some text under it and uh, you'll fill accordingly the rest of the part. And then some of these uh, queries might need uh, uh, information from the index or some uh, some parts we just uh, can take uh, help of LLM itself to generate the text, right? So, so here, uh, that's what the oral workflow is. So uh, let's go and uh, see how we can implement it. So here, uh, I'll not be running the notebook, uh, but I have run this notebook for uh, some other day on uh, certain topics of RAG and agents. So uh, for this, you basically need Llama Cloud API key and uh, open API key as well. So we need to set uh, those keys accordingly, set the LLM, which is open LLM. And then we will first download the uh, papers, right? So uh, here we are concentrating on drag and agent. So uh, we'll have these two keywords and uh, download the papers. And then, uh, so this is a function to download the papers. You have archive client and archive dot search will search based on the uh, submitted date and then uh, get a num uh, number of results per topic uh, which are fixed as three for uh, for now you can experiment with, with that as well and you download them right and uh, 
then whatever files are downloaded you basically use llama pass to parse the documents okay so here we download the papers as i said i'll have uh, our research papers our research paper topics are drag and agents and number of papers per topic is three so we'll download all those papers and then once you have this you need to parse the documents so here we use uh, llama parts uh, to parse the documents um, and then uh, once you have the parsed documents you basically need to uh, have some util file uh, utils right so to get the metadata from each of these papers and then uh, uh, so this is a pydantic model to extract metadata of author names companies and general AI tags so we'll use this pydantic model to generate uh, uh, get the metadata for each of these papers and then uh, we'll create llama cloud pipeline now pipeline is nothing but an empty index where you can uh, in keep on ingesting the uh, documents right so once you create the empty index and then you can uh, have uh, you already have documents so then you can upload these uh, downloaded documents as well right so here are uh, those uh, util functions and we have a pedantic model which uh, gets the author names other companies AI tags uh, you need to specify the specif uh, appropriate de description for the same and then you create a uh, llama cloud pipeline okay which needs um, a client llama cloud client and then pipeline name transform config and embedding config uh, so transform config is uh, nothing but you basically uh, need to provide what is the chunk size uh, chunk overlap and embedding config is what is embedding uh, model you want to use right and then data sync is uh, uh, we have which uh, vector store you want to use any uh, data store you want to use basically we have managed service uh, so you can just uh, 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 point it to none uh, to use managed service or else you want to use quadrant or wave it uh, you can accordingly use the same as well right so uh, you create them once you create the pipeline and get the metadata of the papers then uh, you need to upload the document so for uh, document upload we first extract the metadata and so we need the outline of the report that we want as i said uh, this is the sample outline uh, we are taking so introduction um, reg and uh, agents and specific subsections and then latest papers and then uh, paper one paper two paper three and then a conclusion right uh, so uh, we need to fill these kind of uh, uh, sections and subsections from these outline of the report and then so we need some functions right as i said uh, we need to generate queries so that uh, 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 these queries can be used by the llm or the uh, index uh, to generate the necessary information so we have uh, this parse outline generate queries uh, function so it extracts a title it extra generates a query with the help of llm and then uh, it classifies this these queries as well uh, whether these uh, queries can be answered by the LLM itself or you, you need information from the index created to uh, create get answers for these queries okay so uh, these utilities are uh, functions are basically uh, specifically f uh, written uh, as per the outline mentioned so you need to uh, change accordingly if you if you want to change the outline right so here is the uh, uh, function to extract title and then um, generate query with an LLM so uh, the query is generated based on the title and subsection and section information okay and uh, as a function for classifying the query whether it's an index related or LLM related so and then you keep parsing this uh, outline to generate these queries accordingly right so this is a function uh, for the same uh, and then uh, once you have queries generated you basically need a reporting generated agent so in the reporting generating agent uh, it basically creates queries based on the outline and then generate answers for e each of these queries using uh, llm or the llama cloud index you have created now you need to format uh, these answers back basically you need to fill the answers uh, that we have generated back into the remote rep report right so you need to finally format the final report so uh, here we will use uh, workflows for the same uh, we have certain functions format report and uh, uh, get subsections content so get section content so um, so we have two events here which are uh, generate uh, queries generation event so it uses parse outline generate queries uh, based on the outline to generate the queries and then uh, it uh, the next event is generate report 
uh, which first generates uh, the content for the section subsections and then a letter uh, for sections as well so here uh, if you go here for se section content so uh, for the section content so first it uh, gets uh, subsections and uh, creates the uh, necessary answers for uh, the subsections so once you have subsection contents based on the subsection content uh, it even creates uh, the sections content as well right so uh, this way uh, you'll have the content and then you create the uh, final report as well so in the final report you have all these sections and subsections based on introduction or conclusion you basically for uh, to create uh, information i mean a uh, text for the section you basically need to summarize what is there in the uh, subsections of that section right so that's what uh, we'll do here and uh, get uh, get it accordingly and then finally uh, fill uh, it for introduction and conclusion as well and then add title and format your report so this is uh, the end to end pipeline of this uh, report generation uh, uh, agent so as i said this is the uh, outline and here we have taken uh, three papers health pariksha uh, marriage bench vellam grounder so these are some papers that i have taken uh, based on some specific date so if you run this you uh, uh, for a specific day uh, some other papers might have come and you need to select those papers accordingly and uh, and then uh, initialize this agent reporting generation agent and then run the agent accordingly and then you can get this response accordingly right so any response so you have uh, introduction in this report we delve into advantages of rag and agent uh, focusing on impact on memory cell and uh, management in ai systems and then then rag and agent section Uh, fundamentals of rag and agents current state of applications what are the latest papers and then a neat conclusion and then you can save this report so this is how uh, based on a uh, outline um, and then you want to uh, create some report and use uh, llama parse and llama cloud for indexing and parsing the documents a, a neat report can be created i hope uh, this is helpful and uh, this will give away and ideas for uh, uh, creating an interesting applications in the report generation use cases see you in the next video thank you